Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to Pine Cove Farm. This is Pine Cove Farm episode number 17, and you're watching this episode on April the 11th. I hope you are having a wonderful week, and um, hoping that, uh, well, for those of you in the U.S. who your taxes are due on the 15th of April, I hope you're making good progress at getting all of that done. So consider that your friendly reminder from Grizzly Bear Sims. All right, so this morning we are starting off bright and early. Well, maybe not so bright, but it is early. Of course, uh, Seasons Mod does change the lighting effects here. And you, if you're following my Lawfold series, you know that we've already gone through uh, an entire year. We're coming back around on the second year, but you already have seen how the seasons mod has sort of changed the look of things you know obviously our days are a little shorter as we get closer and closer into winter and we are sitting here at field number five and I've sort of already set up some course play courses for this field and um, some other things that we are going to be doing we need straw in the worst kind of way we've actually needed straw pretty much the entire um, series on Pine Cove we've been buying it from our local farmers but we've pretty much exhausted everybody's supply of straw that is willing to sell it to us and so as a result um, we need straw and we need straw really bad because we need to keep our mixing station going so really without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get our um, combine here fired up now one of the things that I like to do with course play and don't worry I will be covering um, these course play courses with you all at, at, a, at basically basically at a later stage but I've got my course play course set up here now if I kicked off the course play course and basically just started this guy going from the nearest waypoint or even the first waypoint he's gonna miss um, about I don't know five or six maybe ten feet of, um, of grain of rye uh, which is what we are basically harvesting here he would miss a good portion of that of this area that I've already harvested so for example uh, he would run up to the start point but the start point before he stops he's going to be about five or six feet into the field and so that obviously is um, is a waste of a waste of straw so we're going to now go ahead and start him up um, he will he should go ahead and resume where he is obviously he's made a liar out of me so I'm gonna back up just a little bit and go ahead and get him started once again and he should straighten up and there he goes so now he is on his he is on his course he's on his rye he's left a little bit of a of a of a, of a tough there of rye but we'll we'll get that if we feel that we need it okay so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna basically jump out and we're gonna help uh, get get uh, one of our hard workers going here because like I said we need straw in the worst in the worst kind of way so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get um, uh, I think this is going to be Stan here that we're basically going to get uh, set up here get him on his course um, so I've got my course set up here already for this guy and we're just going to bring him in and uh, combine, let's see, which empty combine and offload, yeah. So he's got a course here. This is field five to silo. Um, no course is loaded. Okay, field five to silo. He's good to go. Uh, we'll bring him. We'll get him on four-wheel drive. And I always like to do the combine here. Um, I know some people will leave that as set to, um, um, will sort of leave that set to automatic, and that does work. Uh, it tend, obviously, it works much better if you just have one, um, if you just basically have one um, combine and one tractor tipper running in your world. Uh, if you have, uh, if you have multiples for whatever reason, then obviously that can cause a little bit of, of a problem. So we're going to go right here, start our course, and he will come on up here to his stop sign, and he uh, will wait for the combine uh, to get in touch with him. Now, one thing that you may see um, in this episode is you may see 
the tractor tipper emptying the combine on the wrong side of the crop. Um, thankfully, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and again, I'm recording this episode on the 8th of April. This is Saturday morning, the 8th of April. Uh, so a few updates ago to course play. Um, they did fix course play so that it essentially does not damage the crop if uh, if it's being controlled by course play. If the AI is being controlled by course play, it will not damage the crop if you're running the, uh, the crop damage um, uh, or crop destruction mod. So it's a little unrealistic because obviously we know that um, in the real world, the tractor tipper and the harvester guy would be better in sync with each other and they wouldn't be driving through the crops but you know we don't this is not the real world this is uh, a virtual world this is a game and as much as I try to play this game as ultra realistic as possible um, I do sort of give allowances for this kind of stuff because obviously I need the help I need course play to help me uh, achieve everything that we're going to do uh, basically not only in this series but in all the series that I play and so you know until until the course play guys can kind of figure out how it is best to keep you know everything a little more realistic this is just kind of what we're going to have so I'm gonna kind of let these guys here work together as I jump down here in the challenger and again I try not to uh, do a lot of of teleporting but just to keep things um, a little quick I went ahead and teleported into uh, into this so we're going to basically go ahead and turn on our forage wagon and we're going to kind of start picking straw up off the field again I need um, lower our, our pickup here I need straw in the worst kind of way um, you know we've got and let me just I'll give you an update if you if you watched my episode um, before well, if you watched the live stream from last weekend, uh, you know that during that live stream, um, I mowed and um, uh, tethered and got field, the big field, our big hay meadow, got it ready for um, to basically rake and pick up hay from that field. And we got over a million liters of hay. And even though um, even though some of, you know, we missed some of the hay that we were raking up with the rake and everything, uh, we still got a large amount of hay off that field and it basically fills our needs um, going forward. So we will probably use, obviously we will use hay for, um, for our animals, for our mixed rations and everything. Uh, we can put hay into our mixing station. Um, obviously we can also send any pretty much any product down to the compost facility so depending on what our straw situation is at sort of at the end of our at the end of harvest time um, you know we can send we can send um, we can send straw down but because we have such a large amount of of hay we will probably also uh, supplement that with hay So hopefully um, he will call this tractor tipper um, momentarily, and uh, this guy will get out of our way. So I think what I'm going to do is just to give him plenty of room, I'm going to back up just a little bit, and we'll just back off our our windrow row there and uh, see how things are going. He's at almost 50%. So it won't take, uh, it's not going to take any time at all to harvest this field. Um, so that's that's a good thing and of course I could automate all of this I could certainly automate the um, uh, the straw uh, picking of the straw process up he should uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna be able to navigate by himself so let me just take the high road here and get out of his way um, you know I could obviously um, um, automate the picking of the straw up and trust me once we get uh, to those bigger fields where we're where we've got barley and wheat planted uh, I most definitely will be using uh, course play to pick up that straw but again I need the straw in the worst kind of way we need it for animal bedding we need it for the mixing station 
we basically need it for pretty much all of our operation because our silo might have a few hundred liters of straw left in it, but that's pretty much it. So we're sitting at about 90% straw here, so we're going to go ahead and just continue up this path here and go ahead and top this tipper or this uh, forage wagon up to 100% and then we will head back and start emptying, uh, start, well, basically start giving straw to the animals that basically need it. So uh, hopefully they will be able to sort each other out there. Let's just kind of spin around and take a look and see. Okay, there he goes. All right, course play. I, I, I will tell you that course play is much, much better in Farm Sim 17 at um, resolving their conflicts, and 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 that's that's the best way that I can sort of describe it. If you if you've been using far, uh, course play back in the Farm Sim 15 days, and especially if you sort of use the functions to um, to run the tractor and tipper and empty the combine and stuff like that, you know that sometimes they got in this in this um, uh, in this standoff uh, situation where uh, either um, let's see, let's go ahead and uh, let's check on our our straw situation for our piggies here, since they're the closest animal to us. Look at those fall colors. I mean, the fall colors are just simply beautiful. And there we go. So um, you may have recalled that with course play, uh, maximum for three days. Okay. That's fine. Um, you may remember that with course play in Farm Sim 15, that essentially sometimes the, the tractor tipper uh, would kind of, you know, do circles because they couldn't get, for lack of a better description, the, uh, the tractor tipper couldn't get on the, the correct course the correct coordinates to line up properly with the combine um, with his pipe and so what would happen is the combine would be full and most of the time when I saw this happen it was in a situation where you are sort of you know the combine is running and um, maybe the tractor is headed back to the to the farm to the silo or whatever and basically before the tractor can get back to the field get lined up on the proper coordinates to get under the uh, to get under the pipe the combine stops and so the tractor the tractor tipper it it knows well I guess it knows that the combine stopped but it doesn't know basically it only knows the coordinates that the combine gave it as far as how to get lined up to to the pipe and so it would just go around and around in circles. And you would have to basically, you know, stop the tractor tipper and then essentially get him going again and um, and everything everything would be fine until, well, until it happened again. I have found that in Farm Sim 17, I guess I didn't need to uh, drop that so early, but in Farm Sim 17, and I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this spin this stuff around here and get us kind of a group shot here. Maybe like that. All right. So um, anyway, Farm Sim 17, I have found that it does a little bit better job. Now, of course, what may end up happening is um, there we go. What may end up happening is that you know, as I begin to use course play more and more for harvesting and such, some of these, you know, some of these things may come about. Some of these things may surface. But I've just, in my experience, I have found that that course play in 17 is much, much better. And I don't know if it's um, look at there. I could not have scripted that any better than to basically tell you just a few seconds ago that it's possible that that these these guys might get locked up and not be able to sort themselves out let's just give it a few minutes and see if if they can if they can basically uh, figure out what's going on there um, I don't think that they will um, but 
we'll certainly give them the benefit of the doubt and see. But, you know, I'm going to say this, and I've said this before as far as course play is concerned. If you think that basically course play is a sort of set it, forget it, and be able to essentially walk away from the game or go do other things on the map, and there will never, ever be any problems, any conflicts, anything like that. Um, well, you're, uh, you're absolutely mistaken because um, um, there, will be, uh, there will be opportunities for uh, these things to occur, and you just are going to have to live with it because it's, you know, it's just these conflicts exist. And, you know, basically, I guess in the real world, um, whereas, you know, we should be able to hire uh, individuals that are capable of, um, and I had removed all those cameras, by the way, but I guess this, uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to stop him and get him fired up here and back up. Now, hopefully, the tractor and the tipper is going to basically figure out the error of his ways and go ahead and get the heck out of Dodge for us. Nope, that's not where we want you to go. Okay, we will back up further. Not a problem. He still thinks he's in traffic. I think he might think that he's in traffic with himself, but I don't um, I don't know. So I think what we're may have to do is just kind of do this here okay just stay where you are and just let me and we should be able to get this guy here on course again and he's gone okay so hopefully they will sort each other uh, sort themselves out there all right he's going back to the to the silo all right, that might have been part of the problem. But anyway, it's not its not a perfect world, folks. Um, there's going to be some conflicts between the vehicles. There's going to be, you know, things that they're going to, you know, they're going to get tangled up with each other, just like uh, that was a good example. And I could not have timed that any, any better because even though this is not really a course play tutorial for you, you know, I enjoy sharing knowledge uh, with you all. I enjoy having you know, things to sort of talk about and demonstrate in the hopes that, you know, if it helps, if it helps just one person, then to me, it's certainly, uh, it's certainly worth it. So uh, we're almost full here. We're coming up on 90% on the straw and we're going to go ahead and get this uh, back to the uh, farm. We'll probably uh, check and see if the cows need any more straw for bedding. And then uh, once we get that topped up, then we'll begin putting straw actually I think what we're going to do with this load is we will put this load into the mixing station because we need to get the mixing station fired up and um, most likely my plan for my plan for today um, of course you guys are seeing these episodes several days after um, I've recorded this but my plan for today is I'm going to do both of my episodes that I need to do for Pine Cove Farm, probably back to back. I've found that that's easier for me. I, I don't know about others, um, those of you who are doing uh, multiple um, multiple maps, but you know, obviously my maps, my game plays or let's plays on my two different maps, Law Folds and Pine Cove Farm, they alternate, okay? Um, but I have found that sometimes when I've got sort of a lot going on, and, and I would say that certainly, uh, you know, harvesting is sort of fits that category of having a lot going on, that sometimes it's easier for me to go ahead and do, um, to go ahead and do my episodes somewhat back to back. So in other words, instead of, you know, this episode, I'm recording this episode um, on Saturday, the 8th of April, it's going to basically be watched by you guys on Tuesday the 11th. Um, I won't have another Pine Cove Farm um, until Thursday the 13th, but I'm going to go ahead and record both of these sort of back-to-back -back because it's easy for me to kind of keep the 
kind of keep what my, my tasks are, what I've got going on, what I need to do, uh, what I've done, all that kind of stuff somewhat straight. And Pine Cove, it's going to get busy around here. Um, you know, we've got, uh, I might have alluded to this in the episode before when I was kind of talking about and hoping that uh, we would be able to harvest in the first day of fall. But um, let me just bring up the weather forecast for you guys in seasons. And you'll see that we've got rain tomorrow now. And the first day of winter is Wednesday. So today is essentially Monday. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, we've got rain at some point uh, forecasted. And then the first day of winter is on Wednesday. So that is um, that spells bad news for us because depending on when that rainstorm decides to hit, if that rainstorm hits early um, in, that, in that game day, then it basically means all of our crop will be wet and we will not be able to harvest it and most likely um, based on my experience with wet crops from law folds it was um, it was more than a game day before the crops dried out to the point of where that we could harvest now you know would we would we get lucky based on the the you know it's supposed to be a high of 42 on the first day of winter um, would we be able to harvest I don't know I mean um, it would just it would just depend so basically what I'm sort of gearing up for here is I'm gearing up for this game day which is mid fall mid autumn uh, I'm gearing up for this game day to be um, on like uh, gangbusters as far as we've got all hands on deck uh, we're gonna have all of our all of our uh, hired help here on the farm we're gonna be getting the other combine we've got two combines right now we've just got one of them running um, but as soon as the rest of the guys get here, and they should be here around uh, 8 or so, we're going to get all of that going, and, um, and this game day is going to be quite busy. Now, as far as what you can expect to see in the next few episodes, I'm not going to show you on, um, on video episodes each and every um, field harvest. I think... You know, if we did that, I think we would be cranking out probably uh, three or four or five episodes out of this game day. Um, I think that most likely uh, I will be doing uh, a lot of the harvesting, both um, so obviously have multiple fields going at one time and possibly even doing some of this harvesting and some of this work on my live stream. And if you guys want to see it, you can watch the live stream if you don't catch it actually live. Or um, you'll just kind of know that I've kind of gone through the, the process of harvesting these fields. But I think that uh, to stretch this thing out and, and basically show all these fields getting harvested, uh, even a portion of them, even if we only did, you know, like half the field and I did the rest of it off camera, I think that's going to be... Um, a lot so um, I am also I've talked about this before uh, I'm also in the process of looking at um, future maps I have made a decision even though I, I know I asked you guys for your feedback and I value your feedback um, I do um, and the feedback is still somewhat open for a British style map so if there is a British style map that you guys would like to see uh, me attempt to try to play with Seasons Mod, um, then obviously post that in the comments and that will obviously take the place of Law Folds once we get to that point in time. But I've also said that I'm not planning on doing a, another year of Pineco Farm. Um, just not, um, not interested in it. Um, you know, I, I do love this map. Um, but I also think that, um, you know, I guess maybe, maybe if I had it to do over again, maybe I would not have done law folds for two full seasons. But um, with Pine Cove, and even though it's completely different than Goldcrest Valley, there are some similarities that um, exist. And so, uh, oops, we could have done, we could have done a little bit better job with that. Um, there are some similarities that exist, and I just think that 
I'm sort of ready for something different. I'm sort of ready for a different experience, a different map. So we will be um, moving to, once we sort of get to that point, uh, we will be moving to Lone Star. Lone Star is um, a new map that's been released in the last couple of weeks. Uh, one of the reasons why we're going to move to Lone Star is because I am, na I am uh, originally from Texas. Uh, Texas is where I uh, say that I was born and raised, if you will. Uh, for those of you that are uh, here, you know, live here in the U.S., you're familiar, possibly you're familiar with that, uh, with that phrase, uh, born and raised, born and bred, uh, whatever the case might be. And so, um, you know, I consider myself uh, a Texan still at heart. I, I think that if you are from Texas, you will know that that you're, you're you can you know uh, there's a saying that you can take the you can take the boy out of Texas, but you can't take Texas out of the boy. And so uh, or man, uh, however you want to uh, say that. So um, clearly there is um, um, I have a lot of pride and everything in 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 Texas, and so. Um, I want to uh, I want to play that map. So I'm going to play the map. The, uh, that that particular map takes place in, or it's based on um, Google Earth images and such uh, from the northeast Texas area, um, sort of. And I would predict that it'd probably be about a hundred miles, less than a hundred miles north of actually where I grew up. So um, I'm fairly familiar with that area, with that with that region of Texas, and um, so you know I'll be sort of applying some of my um, experience based on my agricultural experience from high school and just you know growing up in the area with making some comparisons and and such with uh, kind of what's what you see on the map and and so on and so forth. So um, you know the great thing is 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 there aren't any mountains or anything like that because obviously there aren't any mountains in northeast Texas it's pretty flat um, but um, you know so the map is pretty true to uh, true to scale with regards to that kind of stuff um, and so it will be just kind of interesting it'll be I haven't decided um, exactly you know what type of equipment I want to use on the map whether you know I think it's going to I think the map in itself is probably going to demand um, relatively large equipment. Will it will it need the 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 type of equipment that we're that we've been using here on Pine Cove? I probably not that big. It probably doesn't need to be. Uh, probably don't need to have those big uh, John Deere air seeders. But then again, I need to really sort of take a look at um, at the map and at the fields and everything. Um, I am I have loaded the map. And I have been doing um, some sort of some testing of the map just to make sure that everything, just to make sure that everything works correctly. I mean, the last thing I want to do is start a map like I did with some of those uh, early maps in, seven, in the 17 days and run into problems with not being able to uh, do certain things. And um, so clearly um, that is going to be something that I'm testing, but also uh, and I talked about this in my last awful, uh, last Lawfolds episode, but I have been setting things up to do um, to do the course play uh, tutorial on your silage process. So basically, you're cutting your cutting your corn, getting the the chaff from the field to the silage bunker, and using course play to uh, level and compact the silage bunker, and that is working out beautifully. Um, I've done some testing on it just to make sure that I can tell you all the correct uh, things that I need to tell you so that you can basically uh, follow those steps on your farm and more or less get the same results. So um, look for that video to come out very, very soon. Um, for those of you that know, uh, that, that follow my, my, uh, my episodes and everything, you know that I was traveling last week. And before that, you know that I was my my wife was having some uh, some health issues and such, and I was dealing with a lot of that. I wanted to just uh, to say thank you to all that you know said your good good wishes and all that to me in the comments or or contacted me through PCSG or through um, uh, the Three Dudes Gaming Network to send your 
your your your good wishes and everything. Uh, she's feeling much much better, and of course I'm back. Uh, I'm not traveling again for at least two or three. Well, probably about three to four weeks. Um, is the next opportunity uh, for me to have to travel again. So I am sort of, you know, I'm, I'm sort of swamped with things at, at home and at work, but I'm going to try my, my best to make sure that I can keep the consistent flow of episodes coming out to you. Uh, again, that's, um, uh, that's five episodes a week, uh, five episodes of the Let's Plays, uh, Monday through Friday and you know a tutorial here and there and maybe a mod review or something like that so I've got some cool mods that I want to show you uh, that I think will also help you out as well and so basically I'm gonna just wind this episode down because we have uh, hit our magic number of 30 minutes and I don't really see a need to go any further I will basically get these guys here uh, moved over to the next um, the next field that I need them set up in and we will come back probably pretty uh, short uh, amount of time um, and get started on some more uh, harvesting that you'll see in this episode and again not going to cover everything but we'll cover enough that you kind of can follow along with the progress that's going on on this map and I'm not rushing to try to get to the next map it's just I will just admit that I think between having this map on the multiplayer server the three dudes gaming network multiplayer server uh, which I haven't had a lot of time uh, to visit in recent weeks but I think between having the two maps um, I'm just I think that um, you know I've just had my feel of Pine Cove Farm uh, and I'm ready to get on to something new and different and so that's going to be I think um, obviously what we're going to do so thank you all so much for watching I appreciate it I really really do uh, have a wonderful wonderful week and I will be back to you again very soon with another video until then take care and God bless bye bye